Okay, so my name is Maria and I am on my way to go pick up my fiance, Trent Taylor, from Kennedy, Texas. I have to stop in DFW and uh, I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the road or I'm looking at the road and not looking at the camera. But I just wanted to put in a quick video. So my fiance won a Supreme Court case against qualified immunity. It was the first time that they ruled against qualified immunity in the, first, in the last 16 years. Um, and he is still in an ongoing battle with the TDCJ guards. Um, so my thing is I haven't seen my fiance in 12 years. We dated, we dated when I was 20 and he was 21. And um, we reconnected and we are getting married on Friday in San Antonio. And I'm so nervous and excited. It's been a very long journey as a prison girlfriend. And um, we, you know, I call him my husband, but he, is my fiance and I love this man I'm excited well I'm going to pick up my aunt in DFW I'm going to go down to Kennedy I'm gonna get a hotel and then I have reporters that are going to meet us in the morning um, I I don't know if he got my JP letting him know hey there's gonna be reporters so it may actually be a surprise for him to see the reporters but there's going to be a reporter and a photographer, and then my aunt is also a photographer, so we're gonna have lots of pictures. The reporter is actually gonna follow us around tomorrow and uh, do some interviews and, and kinda do a few things as far as his story, and um, I think he's gonna cover our wedding a little bit, so I'm pretty excited about that, but um, I'm more so excited about seeing my my Trent Taylor <laughs> and seeing how how we do like on the outside because a lot of I'm going to say this and I think a lot of prison girlfriends need to hear it um, when it comes to being a prison girlfriend or a prison wife a lot of it is fantasy a lot of it is in your head a lot of it is um, it's, it's, you know, the possibility of things to come. There's, there's lots of things that you talk about, you know, you, you express your dreams, but you express them in a different way than what you do on the outside. And that's what they call prison talk, you know, hey, um, yeah, I'm going to get out and be a millionaire. Well, you know, you may or may not do that. Um, there's lots of after prison success stories, but there's also a lot of relationships. There's a lot of people that end up going back and resurgence is a big thing, especially here in Texas, because we don't have a very good, um, rehabilitation program. These people are taken from, you know, a, a cell and stuck into this big giant world and um, they end up, you know, I guess what they call, um, so what's the word, um, institutionalized, which is basically they end up with PTSD and we have PTSD counseling for soldiers, but we don't have them for inmates. Um, it, it's hard to readapt to a world. My, my fiance has never touched a smartphone. He's never touched a smart, like a tablet. Um, the biggest thing out when he was out was the Blackberry Storm, the first one. Um, the, the biggest, coolest thing when he was out was the iPod Nano when it first came out. I think it was the iPod Nano, but um, so I got him a Samsung S21 Ultra 
um, with the, the best, all the bells and whistles and, you know, and he doesn't need it, but um, I also have a phone, it's pink, and I'm gonna prank him with it and tell him that that's his phone. He'll probably think that phone is cool, it's a S10e, but I got him the biggest smartphone. My sister's like, why would you do that? And I'm like, well, because he's never had that. And I wanna see him take off. I, I work for a technology company, so it's, it's nice to be able to say, hey babe, um, you know, I'll get you whatever you want, but at the same time, I wanna give him the tools to thrive and to keep with his legal work and keep with working with his with his lawyer and and keep up with with that but I also want him to be entertained I want him to enjoy the technologies that we take for granted every day like we as a society love our technology we we love it it's technology is amazing it, it's awesome it and for somebody who's never had it and never seen it like like we do every day in person it's gonna be great now of course they have tv in there so i'm sure he's and he's researched it he was like hey this phone has the best camera ever and i'm like yeah i know but it's also expensive <laughs> but when it came down to it I had a line that was eligible for an upgrade and I was like, why not go for the best and make sure that he has one of the best tools. So, I am on the way to DFW. I'm actually running really, really, really behind. Um, I'm going to meet my dad uh, probably closer to 2.30 or 3 in uh, Plano and have lunch. And then from there, I'm going to drive down to Kennedy, which is, um, so it's about two hours from here to, um, DFW, and then, uh, 30, 38 minutes from there to Plano, and then I think it's about five and a half hours from Plano to Kennedy. We'll check into the hotel. I'm thinking about meeting one of my friends at, um, at after I check into the hotel. She she lives in San Antonio. I went to school at Our Lady of the Lake University. Anybody that's gone to that university, you know how beautiful it is. It's a gorgeous campus. Um, definitely recommend if you're looking for a college campus, that's the place to go. But. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go see her and hopefully a couple of other friends that still live in San Antonio after college and I know that I'm probably not gonna get any sleep I I think the most I've slept in the last 10 days is probably four or five hours which I have insomnia and that's kind of normal however it's really bad right now my nerves are shot um, which is another reason why I'm jumping on here. Maybe some therapy for myself, um, some sanity while I'm doing an insane thing and filming myself while I'm driving. Um, but I'm I'm excited. I I love watching um, videos of of people getting out of prison or you know those moments that 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 you have where somebody comes home after a long time I love those stories and I will say it's hard being a part of a story like that it's hard being a part of, of a relationship where you don't get to see the other person and it's it's surreal knowing that he's going to be coming home and knowing that this man that I fell in love with, this was the first man I ever fell in love with. I, I had boyfriends before that I loved, but this is the first man I fell in love with as a woman. And 
the fact that we found ourselves back in a relationship and then engaged and getting married. I mean, the whole situation is surreal. The last 302 days have been a really bumpy ride and I wish I had started filming earlier, but I just, I, I don't think reality was hitting me like it is today, like it is this week, this last couple of days have been extremely busy. Hopefully I didn't forget anything because I, I got, I got my, um, wedding dress situated. I got my, um, I got my fiance's clothes situated. I got, you know, I just, I, I have everything to where I, I think I need it and I have clothes and I have a couple of games and I have uh, some snacks. I got, I got some things that he requested. I got some extra stuff just in case. Um, and then of course I have, you know, a couple of gadgets I want him to be able to play with when he gets out. Like I have a, a laptop computer or a tablet computer. He's never seen one of those. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about his phone. I, I have um, a Roku with me. Oh no, I might have left the Roku. I think I did. Dang it. Well, that's okay because we have Netflix on the tablet and he's always like, what is Netflix? Like, I think he understands the concept of it, but he doesn't understand it. He, he told me, hey, you know, if you get a discount on DirecTV, why don't you get DirecTV? And I'm like, because I don't watch cable. I don't watch cable. I love DirecTV, like the streaming service. So I, I was like, I'll get the streaming service if you want. I just, I don't really watch any TV. I don't watch any movies. Um, every now and then I'll, I'll binge watch a show on Netflix, but I mainly have it for my sister and, you know, on a, a few days out of the week we go and we'll, we'll hang out at my house and have junk food or paint our nails or, you know, have a sister day. And from there, I'll go and I'll, uh, I'll say, hey, you know, we'll watch, we'll watch a movie or we'll watch a TV show and she typically picks something to watch, um, and we'll sit down and we'll watch and we'll, we'll goof around and we talk, like, the whole time that the show's going. It's, it's terrible. We're, like, the worst people to watch a show with, <laughs> but it's, it's great when I get those moments. So I figured, okay, if he really wants that, I'll, I'll look into direct TV. However, he is not a big TV watcher either, but he wants to be able to have access and watch whatever he wants, I'm sure. So I got Netflix, I got a uh, direct TV streaming service, HBO, movie time, movie, all the movie channels. Um, and then I also have Hulu and, and Prime and all that. And that way he can pick out which ones he likes and which one he doesn't. And, um, see, you know, which ones to keep and which ones not. I don't know. It just sounds like I'm wasting a whole bunch of money on movie channels. But, um, my, my sister and I split the bills on those, so it's not too bad. Well, I guess I'm kind of done for right now. I, I mean, yeah, I'm still early on in the, in the road trip, so I will probably film a little bit more later, but for right now, I'm just excited. I'm excited to see my husband after 11 years. I'm excited to actually officially make him my husband after 11 years he's been incarcerated so long i'm i'm sure that we're going to have some ups and downs i'm sure that we're going to have some adjustments that are going to be made but in the end i know everything's going to be okay once he's home. well stay blessed
stamp and I hope any prison wives or girlfriends that watch this I hope you have this day and I hope you never have to have it again after